Hey everybody, it's Pastor David from Walden Community Church. You know, one of the fun things about the summertime, one of the fun things I get to do is I get to teach Bible stories to the kids at Vacation Bible School. And so every summer I get to go upstairs, I get to be the Bible teacher and it doesn't matter what age group, you know, I can have the little tiny four-year-olds and I can have the big teenagers and uh, it's a blast. It's one, of the, it's one of the funnest things I get to do. But, but, it's either on Thursday or Friday that Bible lesson becomes just a little uncomfortable because every Thursday or Friday at Vacation Bible School, that's about the time we have to talk about the cross. And so these kids that we've had fun with all week long, and I've been sitting there telling them stories about the Bible and about Jesus and how much Jesus loves you, there always comes that moment where I have to sit the kids down and go, okay, Jesus was killed on a cross and he died. People wanted to kill him. And, and you can see the disconnect in the, in the little kids' faces, especially like the little five-year-olds. Like you're sitting there telling them how wonderful Jesus is and how much he loves them. And then, oh, by the way, kids, people tried to kill him and they nailed him to a cross. So it's always, it's always a little sad on that day talking to the kids, but... I was thinking, you know, there are those people who only come to church on holidays. People come to church on Mother's Day, come to church on Christmas, come to church on Easter. And I thought, you know, I wonder if the disconnect is there for them as well, because you come to a Christmas Eve service and everything's beautiful and there's candles. And we're singing all these happy songs. We're talking about how happy we are that there's this baby that was sent by God who loves the world. And then they come back at Easter. Now this baby's grown up. Now this baby is hated and people are arresting this person and killing this person on a cross. And I wonder, do, does everyone understand the distance between those two moments? The distance between Jesus being born and Jesus being nailed to a cross. And do they understand why? Like, Jesus must have done something pretty bad to, to warrant getting killed, right? He must have been a horrible person to, to have him be arrested and tried and nailed to a cross, right? Well, it's within those years, those 30 years of Jesus' life, that we understand his message and the reason why he came. And Jesus said that he came to give his life. And I think, again, some people might, what does that mean? What does that mean? Why did Jesus have to die? Why did he have to give his life? Well, it's because we understand this as a relationship between ourselves and God. We live in a covenant. See, ever since the very beginning of the Bible, the story starts in Genesis with Adam and Eve, and then it transitions to Noah, and then it transitions to Abraham, and then to Moses, and then to David. And every single time one of these people comes up, God establishes a relationship with them. God establishes a covenant relationship with them. God says, I will be your God, and you will be my people, so long as. And there's always conditions, there's always terms to the relationship. I'll hold up my end of the bargain, and you hold up your end of the bargain. I just got back from a uh, wedding rehearsal just now. There's, I have a wedding tomorrow, uh, Saturday, and, and this happens in every wedding. You know, the wedding's gonna be beautiful, the bride's gonna be in her dress, the groom's gonna be looking dapper and handsome, and everyone's gonna be like, oh, and they're gonna take pictures, and there's gonna be flowers, and mom's gonna cry. But somewhere in that ceremony, right, the man and the woman, they face each other and they make a covenant. They make a relationship pledge to the other person. I will love you, all of you, until when? Until death do us part. That's a covenant. In fact, when God talks about his relationship with us now, today, as the church, God talks about himself as being the groom and the church being the bride. And there is a covenant relationship. Now, of course, we don't always hold up our end of the agreement, do we? Because we're not perfect. 
We're broken people. We're sad. We're hurt. We live in despair sometimes. We live in dark times sometimes. So we don't always hold up our side of the covenant. That's why Jesus came. Jesus came because he knew that we don't always live the right way. and We don't always live perfect lives. So Jesus came to give his life so that that covenant relationship would always be together. That you, me, God, we would have a perfect relationship for always. That's what we want to talk about this Sunday at Walden Church. We want to talk about the doctrine of covenant. What is this relationship that humanity has had with God since the beginning of time? And that will help us understand why Christ came and why he chose to die for us. Hey, we've got two opportunities to worship at Walden Church. We have a 930 service, which is our early service. We have a choir, we sing traditional hymns, and then we have another service at 11 o'clock. This is with our contemporary worship band, and we have a full children's program from birth all the way through high school. Hey, we want to be your local church. I'll see you Sunday.